What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master back here on this uh, Tuesday night, January 31st, 2023. It's about uh, 10 o yeah, 10 8 p.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California. The latest quake shows a, uh, looks like a little small earthquake into Northern California just about now, a little point nine. Also notice we did have some activity kicking up here along the plate boundary into the Gulf of California. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the activity here across the map currently. There is that uh, four-pointer kicking up, kicking up in the Gulf of California, 4.1 coming in about 10 kilometers deep. That's the typical defaulted zone here with this uh, type of plate boundary. And um, it's actually been a little while since we've seen some movement there into the Gulf of California. In fact, looking at the last 30 days of activity, uh, 2.5 and above uh, shows only one, this 4.1 today. So things uh, returning here to the Gulf. That uh, means we may need to watch areas up north here for some potential swarming. Uh, we haven't really seen too much activity here over the last hour, but during the day, a little bit of movement north here into the uh, Thousand Palms area. Seen a couple small earthquakes and a little cluster. That's just off the uh, southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault on a little segment that kind of extends here uh, into the hills. A little movement along the Imperial Fault northward towards the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. But this is the Brawley Seismic Zone. So a little bit of activity kicking up in this area as well today. Uh, further up north, a little bit of creeping movement on the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault. Yes, that is the correct term, the creeping segment. Uh, also a little activity here off the Wheeler Ridge Fault, or the uh, White Wolf Fault Zone over here near the uh, Lake Isabella area, 2.1 and a 1.7. Uh, over here around Long Valley Super Volcano, a return of a uh, little bit of activity kicking up around the Tom's Place. Looks like um, a couple of ones, some small uh, under ones, and also a 2.7 here in the last 24 hours. Now, I don't think this is a major swarm. It does sit out of the Long Valley Caldera area to the southwest. Uh, we'll have to watch that, though, and see if it... Uh, See if it does turn into, um, you know, like a typical major swarm. Sometimes we do see those pop up here around Long Valley. Last one was, uh, oh, I think the summertime of last year. A little bit of activity across the Tonopah region, 0.8. And um, there's some movement there, of course, in the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. A lot of uh, small microquakes here over the last 24 hours. Up here along the Cascadia subduction zone, a 1.5 coming in early this afternoon near Petrolia, 11 kilometers deep. And uh, on that note, let's go ahead and check out the trimmer activity. See what we got for Cascadia trimmer, maybe, possibly. That was a little odd, taking its time there. Not for sure what's going on there. Kind of uh, got me a little bit worried. I've been having some issues. There we go. Sometimes it's good to close out these windows. Leaving an open session uh, when it comes to computer security is not the best thing. I've been having some uh, issues here today with the stream going down and all sorts of weird stuff happening. It may have something to do with leaving these windows open. Because <clears throat> if you think about it, when you're connected here to the USGS, uh, you're providing them with an open connection to your, uh, to your computer. And it stays that way. Uh, for the most part, when you leave these windows open, some have an expiry on it as far as the time out uh, phase. But uh, for the most part, that window stays open, that window of opportunity. I'm, like I say, I'm not for sure what was going on earlier, but uh, yeah, I had some major issues with the stream. Okay, getting back down to the trimmer here. 156 epicenters of trimmer. See if I can spit this out. It's been a long, hard day. I'm going to probably call it a night here afterwards, uh, after this update. 156 epicenters of trimmer. And uh, notice Northern California getting in back on the mix as well. Uh, that could be um, what we're seeing here, a little bit of activity upstream along the southern end of the Cascadia, producing that uh, little 1.5 today. But overall, seismic activity on the increase once again on the southern segment, southern uh, section here of the Cascadia. 
A uh, little activity up in Washington today as well. Nothing major. More explosions uh, in Washington than uh, earthquakes. So go figure. Uh, Yellowstone National Park got one earthquake being listed here. Well, maybe three. Okay, we'll zoom in. Three earthquakes from early this morning. So on that note, let's go ahead and check out the latest seismograph viewer here and uh, see what we have. Looks like things have kind of mellowed out here over the last few hours. There's some of that smaller earthquake activity from this morning. Notice things are relatively stable here and much calmer uh, for as earthquake activity goes at Yellowstone. And even so, these are just very small microquakes when they happen. Down here in Texas, a little further activity this evening. A couple twos popping off here outside of Pecos, Texas and uh, eastern portion of the country all looks pretty quiet for now not a whole lot popping off caribbean plates still seeing a couple different segments here along the puerto rico trench showing some activity bouncing back and forth here between uh, about the mona trough and this area north of the virgin islands area uh, some of this activity somewhat deep into the puerto rico trench region a couple uh threes kicking off notice this little cluster of swarming activity here um, into the uh, Mona Passage area. No swarming yet around the Puerto Rico side, the southern uh, portion here. Uh, possibly we could see that thing ramp back up. It's been uh, well, it's been off and on here for a little while. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. <clears throat> the Atlantic Ocean had uh, two earthquakes out here earlier today, 4.8 and a 4.7 along these divergent uh, plate boundary, separation of the oceanic crust out there, and also down into the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, fours, quite a few fours popping off there below 100 kilometers into the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, now, over here around the, don't be acting weird now. Like I say, there's definitely been some weird stuff going on here with the uh, computer lately, or I should say the stream. Um, last one in this area shows a 5.0 down into the up into the Tonga area from this region. Uh, there's not a whole lot of further activity to note here across the earthquake 3D globe, although further down south into the uh, Kerbinek Trench, there's a couple fours being reported uh, fairly deep as well into this region. Nothing showing up here from the USGS, even though this is above 4.0. So I find that uh, a little on the um suspicious side there let me bring up the geonet servers Let's see what we have popping off here they're still showing activity from two days ago hmm. uh, the most recent activity 4.3 north of the north island into the kermadec trench notice that depth 422 kilometers and i'm only seeing uh looks like i'm only seeing one four pointer there's one from nine hours ago 500 kilometers deep um, but I'm seeing two white ones here, so it's kind of, uh, kind of odd. Maybe one from the GeoNet servers, one from the, uh, EMSC model. Uh, either way, aside from this activity around the Kermadec Trench, things relatively calm up around Fiji. And even so, around the, um, <coughs> Maluka Sea, Java Trench area, these things are, uh, some older m movement quakes. Uh, some threes and even a five-pointer, but uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of the white circles indicating some more recent activity. Did have a 2.4 way down here south. Uh, what would that be? Southwestern Australia, 2.4. Our quiet zone continues to be quiet. 3.7 up here around the uh, uh, Turkmenistan area. Turkmenistan. There we go. Had that uh, little off. Six kilometers deep for that earthquake. And uh, looking further west, things have tapered off quite nicely across the Mediterranean. In South America, as I mentioned, there was quite a few fours here into the Prue-Chile Trench, but also notice getting a little southern migration here along the Prue-Chile Trench. Um, quite a few twos and threes in the mix here, relatively shallow. Alaska, yeah, about the same. It's nothing really changes. I mean, obviously, we do get some big quakes up there on occasion, but uh, for now, relatively mild conditions across the area for the earthquake activity. 
a little movement here around the Paxson area, 1.8. And uh, got this guy here, 3.1. <clears throat> kind of south of the uh, Brooks Range out there around the uh, uh, border of Canada and Alaska. <clears throat> Goodness, losing my voice here tonight again. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, I think that's about it here, folks, for um, for earthquake activity. Check out the uh, trimmer map here tonight and see what's going on across the uh, trimmer area. Again, 156 epicenters, but uh, also wanted to check out some volcanoes up here. And, you know, just for fun, let's check out Crater Lake, see what's going on up there. Yes, Crater Lake, uh, volcanic history here for sure. Wizard Island, beautiful area up there in Oregon. Uh, not a whole lot of seismic activity popping off here. Uh, things are relatively calm. I don't really see anything. Maybe a little spike right here, but uh, things pretty quiet across the area. All right, space weather activity. Green, green. If you like green, green is the is the uh, key index there. Not for sure what's going on with this. Uh... Well, it looks like that's offline. Far as the uh, KP index rate. Either way, there's uh, the sunspots out here are diminishing quite rapidly. This cluster of earthquake or uh, earthquakes, cluster of uh, solar weather activity is uh, just kind of dwindling there, heading off towards the uh, the northwestern segment of the sun. And there might be there's a see there's a newly named sunspot here, 3207. That uh, looks like it may be getting a little bit of uh, structure here with the magnetic polarity in the fields of that sunspot. This might be one to watch here closely. Now it's not looking super promising, but it does, um, well, you know, it's it's got a little threat here for some solar flare activity here, I'm sure, in the coming days. Right now, these guys are showing a 75% chance of a C flare, M flare at 15, and 5% for an X flare, which is, eh, I don't know, kind of a little overblown in my two cents. Looking at the solar flare activity, we are below the C flare threshold. I haven't really seen anything major here over the last couple days. Uh, in fact, uh, nothing over the last seven days except for that little minor M flare uh, way back on the 26th of uh, this month. All right, quick glance here at the uh, weather forecast here across the western regions. We are looking at some more wet weather coming in. Looks like potentially on Thursday is our next system, Thursday night into Friday. Now, I'm going to be out there trying to shoot this comet uh, early Thursday morning. I'm going to see if I can't get out there before the clouds come in. Um, the comet, I'm sure you guys have heard about it, it's green. At least it appears green in the sky. Uh, it's supposed to be closest to Earth around the uh, 1st and 2nd of February. So I'm going to try to be out there in the cold, um, seeing if I can't get a couple of nice shots of the of the uh, comet out there. Uh, another system coming in on the weekend, it looks like. And after that, a uh, little dry period. Things are kind of uh, looking a little spotty there into the uh, second week of February. But uh, another system, that's a pretty good impressive system right there into about the 15th of February for the West Coast. After that, uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, far as the precipitation accumulated rate here across the area, now this goes to the 17th of February. Again, some, eh, nothing like we've seen earlier this month. These are actually somewhat wimpy amounts but uh, along the west coast here along the coast range could be getting uh, between four and five inches of rainfall once again uh, maybe the bay area as well in northern california for us here in the sacramento valley that's going to be that little gutter that uh, well it's it's a rain shadow if you really think about it with mountain ranges here to the west and the east uh, that does squeeze out the moisture and uh, well we do get rain but nothing like the um, elevated uh, mountainous regions do so it looks like maybe between two to uh, maybe three inches of rainfall for certain portions of the valley. Again, nothing like we've seen 
earlier this month. That was uh, quite impressive there. I think I picked up, I don't know how much, quite a bit uh, in a short amount of time period there earlier this month. All right, uh, I think that's about it, folks. Uh, my uh, my brain's a little bit overloaded here from work and whatnot, uh, schoolwork, that is. So I'm just going to focus on uh, a little bit more, st more studying before bedtime, and then we'll call it a night, I think. Check out the National Data Buoy Center out here. Nothing uh, in event mode. These are measured... Well, basically, these measure uh, sea level adjustments uh, when a tsunami is produced. And a lot of times, we've seen these light up like crazy here across the area. It's been a while since we've seen it, but uh, no doubt it will happen again. Just a matter of time, I suppose, uh, when that does take place. For now, I think, uh, I think I'm about ready. Have a good night, folks. Uh, hopefully, this thing stays up. Um, if for some reason it doesn't, uh, I will, that's weird. I just heard some clicking. Not for sure where that came from. It shouldn't came from anywhere. Uh, nobody's in here except for me. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's about it folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on tomorrow, but uh, if, the, if the stream does go down, we'll obviously try and get it back up ASAP. Have a good night.